I believe the Bible is the inspired Word of God and that everything in it is true. The purpose of this program is not to cast doubt on the Scripture, but rather to take a look at some of the things that the Bible doesn't fully explain in order to share our thoughts and imaginings. The Bible is full of wonders. Let's explore it together. talk to you today about a passage in Exodus 7 and 8. For sake of time, I'm not going to put all the verses up here, but just to kind of give you a background of what we're talking about, this is where God has sent Moses to deliver the Israelites from the Egyptian captivity. And Moses and Aaron are going before Pharaoh, and they're doing all these miracles, these plagues that God is sending to convince Pharaoh to send the people away, okay? What fascinates me about this is Aaron and Moses do these miracles and then the magicians of the land of Egypt perform the miracles, kind of following suit to prove that they can do it too, but it really makes no sense. To begin with, uh, Aaron casts down his rod and it turns into a snake. So the magicians, they cast down their rods and they turn into a snake. Okay, I can kind of see that, that makes sense. I showed you my trick, you, you show me your trick. But after that, it just gets dumb. Because the next thing that happens is uh, they turn Aaron and Moses, God through Aaron and Moses, turns the water of the land into blood. So I'm thinking, okay, the smart thing that these magicians and sorcerers and whatever would do would be to change the blood back to water, right? But that's not what they do. If you look at verse 22 of chapter 7, it says that they did the same thing. Now, what that means, I'm really not sure because the water was already blood, so maybe there was some other water that hadn't been changed to blood yet, or maybe they changed. But why would you change more of the water into blood? Why would you make your situation worse? That makes no sense to me. That just sounds so, so stupid. But then they continue on. Because, of course, that does not change Pharaoh's mind. So the next plague is frogs. God sends all these yucky, nasty, slimy frogs into the land. And they cover the land to where, I mean, everything is covered. Again, you would think, okay, I'm a magician and sorcerer. I have this great power. I'm going to wipe out all these frogs. I'm going to take them away. I'm going to heal our land. But that's not what they do. The Bible tells us, let's see, it's verse 7 of chapter 8. The Bible tells us that they did the same thing. They made more frogs. Why in the world would you do that? It was like they were trying to prove themselves, but at the same time they were just making things worse for the Egyptians. Crazy, isn't it? Now from then on, they try to replicate Aaron and Moses' miracles, which of course are from God, we know that. But they try to replicate what Moses and Aaron are doing, and from there out, they can't do it. And maybe that was a blessing, because they were just making things worse. But that's something for you to ponder today. Why in the world, if you had such great power, would you make things worse instead of better? Why would you be so intent on proving that you could do the same thing that you wouldn't remedy the situation instead? Just some thoughts for you to ponder today. Hi, I'm Dana Rangioni with Ponder That.